of Biotechnica, welcome back again to another video. I'll be talking about an interesting topic exclusively for the job seekers who are freshers. Suppose if you are a fresher who are looking for a job and want to get a high salary paying jobs in pharma and biotech sector, then I'll be talking in this video about the 10 points that you have to take into consideration in order to fetch a high paying salary in pharma and biotech industry. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So what's the first point if you are a fresher you have to take into consideration? The first point is develop a strong foundation of knowledge and skill. This is very, very important. When you're going for a company, you need to have the knowledge of the job profile that you're applying for and you need to upskill yourself in a specific field. Suppose if you want to enter into regulatory affairs job, you need to know the policies, the regulations before and also you need to have a little bit of training in quality control. So develop a strong foundation of knowledge as well as skill together. How you can do that? You can actually go in for relevant science and technical areas. Any of the, suppose you can enter into a scientific area or if you want to go in for technical areas, you ex experience it by doing some sort of internship. If you want to go in for biology, chemistry, pharmacology or biotechnology because all are correlated when we talk about it. If we have to talk in case of chemistry, you need to know some chromatography, spectroscopic techniques. In case of biology, molecular biology, we know PCR, RT-PCR, uh, gel electrophoresis, cloning techniques and many more are there. Pharmacology policies you need to know. Biotechnology, many, many things are it to be studied. So whatever it is, always develop the basic foundation in that specific field that you're going to enter as well as upskill yourself technically and in the programming language also. Okay, the second important thing is always pursue higher education and advanced degree. Okay, this is most most important I would say because you might have seen many of the job videos that I was talking about. I'll be talking about master's degree and PhD degree when you compare it with lot of bachelor's degree. When we talk about bachelor's degree, there are very limited jobs that are available. But usually when you see the eligibility, master's and PhD degrees are maximum. So what you can do, always pursue higher education and advanced degree. Suppose you want to go in for research and enter into an academia, then definitely go for PhD. If not, then complete a master along with some experiences in any sort of company and then you can continue your career also. So do not ever stop till your bachelor's. Always try to pursue a little bit higher education and advanced degree because a fresher can get even a job after having an experience or an internship training along with your master's. Then if you are wishing again to pursue your PhD, you are always welcome to do so. The third important point, most important point I'm going to tell you, build a network of connection and contact in the industry. Suppose if you are a candidate who is looking for a job in biotechnology company or if you're looking for a microbiology or if you're looking for a food tech companies then what you have to do is you need to know people who are working there how you can actually connect is i would always tell you connect people through the social media and approach the hr recruiters over there or you can email to the specific company emailing which will be available in the website itself so always have a network of connection and contacts in the specific industry that you want to enter Previously, we don't have those opportunities, but we have a lot of networking opportunity where you can connect with people and ask for uh, that you are looking for a job opportunity in this company. And you can also follow many of the companies in LinkedIn or you can follow in many, many portals so that you will be updated what are the jobs that com comes in each of the companies of your interest. Suppose if you want to go in for Novartis or suppose if you want to go in for Equia. So what you can do is just follow those website in the LinkedIn or in any of the social media. So when you follow that, you'll be updated what are the notification comes over there. So building a network of connections and contact is really important if you are a fresher because you need to know masters Along with that, if you have a little bit of internship experience or any sort of skills that you're going to have, then you can approach people and ask them. So always build a network of connection and contacts like 
you can go in for internship when you go in for internship what you can exactly happen is you might be going for an internship in a company or you might be going for an uh, internship in a research laboratory so what exactly happen is the person who will be working will you there are a lot of probability of taking you as an employee instead of hiring a person who doesn't know about the uh, company scenario or about the laboratory so that's going to be obvious which can easily makes you to enter into any sort of jobs the next one networking events yes as i already know you can go for conferences you can go for uh, job fairs uh, you can go for you can meet up people through symposiums many things and professional organization you can go and visit professional organization if you know anybody over there and you can contact over there so build a network that's the most important thing many people are skillful many people have graduated but they do not know how to uh, connect with people and get a job so that's the most problem so always get connected uh, with people through any of the social media like linkedin so stay up to date on the latest trends in development pharma and biotech industry yes this is most important when you're coming out of college after your masters along with little bit of experience or as an internship so you will not be knowing much things about the biotech industry how would function a pharma industry what are the companies are coming up so what you need to know is which are the company are very good enough in a specific role we may say that this is the top must company but you should always check in for the profile that you are looking for suppose if you are looking for a clinical research associate look for the profile which is very good enough in the companies and stay up to date about the company what are the trends that are happening in the specific pharma and the biotech company so and you should always be willing to adapt to yourself and learn new techniques and technologies in those companies also if you are willing for that then you should always think about it next one create a professional online presence this is the most important thing i'm going to tell you if you have not created your linkedin please all of you please go and make a professional online presence such as linkedin profile create a linkedin account for you it is very very important to connect with different people who have lot of opportunities for freshers also so make a profile starting with your name what do you want to do what your willingness are and you can write your education your experience your skills and your contact information everything along with your photograph in the linkedin so that you can connect and talk with people who can help you out for a job also so make a professional online presence like linkedin linkedin profile i'm talking about linkedin which is very very good and always in the linkedin showcase about your skills as i already mentioned there's a column called skills where you can put all your skills over there what are the experience where you have worked an internship opportunity what are the achievements you have done put everything in your linkedin itself like our professional online sources you can do this so this is most important thing if you're going if you want to get a high paying job and also to connect with people the next one develop a strong work ethic positive attitude and a willing to learn and take on new challenges when you are a fresher you need to know this you need to know the ethical nature of the company how to approach to a company and always have a positive attitude when you're going for the company and when you're going for pharma or biotech company very specially in the r&d department you should be a candidate who would be willing to learn some techniques and if they give you a project you need to be taking all those new challenges which comes on your way this is one of the important attitude even after getting a job this will really really work over there so the next important is be proactive and take initiative in seeking out job opportunity very important thing so if you're finding you need to get this job don't just see it but do an action to get it so take all the initiative in finding out job opportunities so how you can do is apply for the position that you are interested by going to the website of the company or you can go to the application portal or you can approach the hr so you can apply for different position and do not ever stop but do an action every day suppose if you are a fresher who are right now and looking for a job i would suggest spend a lot of time uh, for making a resume and your cover letter along with that your linkedin profile first thing and after making that then contact people for getting help it's okay to get help from people if you are looking for any kind of position and apply for position that is very suitable for you along with your expertise so then this will be really really helpful for you also so the next important thing is prepare for job interviews yes you have done many things now you have learned most of the things but 
getting a job in a company is very very important so prepare for job in, in, interviews by researching the company how you can do that suppose if you would like to go in for one company you surf about what are the questions that are asked in the company you can go in for glassdoor you can go in for cora there are many people who will pose the question what are the questions that are asked for a specific job profile from that you will get an idea of what are the things that you have to prepare for the interview also and the next important thing is practice the answers to common question very important questions like tell me about yourself what will you be there after 10 years of period uh, how how your life is going to be so what are the techniques you know how you can put your uh, thought process into this company so how do you add an advantage to the company and these things always have an answer for it in a very legible and a professional way and dressing very very important is professional dressing when you're going for the interview is a must for all of you and demonstrate your value to the employers yes just imagine the recruiter or the employer is going to hire many people like suppose 100 people are coming he can hire five people so they are going to filter those many people so what you can do is why you are important for the company demonstrate the value of yourself to the employers highlight relevant skills suppose if they are talking about they are recruiting it for ngs technology ngs job positions or a bioinformatician just highlight on to the point about how you implemented the technical skill in a project and how you interpreted the result and tell about the experience how it can help to their company and show how you can contribute to the company's success so this is very important when you are going to be a fresher also the next important thing is very important thing the most important thing that i'm going to tell you when you are in a job search you have to be persistent one day you are searching the next day if you're just uh, sitting around and not searching for a job is not important be persistent persistent in your job search continuously look for the job that you really wanted always keep searching don't be discouraged if you face setbacks or rejection if you are rejected in a company or if there is going to be setbacks so do not ever be discouraged just imagine you learn something from the rejection and move on to the next one keep trying and networking most important thing many people after trying for one or two months they used to leave it aside and they will think that's all is my life all about keep trying and try to get a job and network with people most important thing networking is very easier these days so getting a job is easier if you're going to have an experience skills internship opportunity even though you are going to be a fresher and eventually you will definitely going to find the right opportunity which is on your way and so these are some of the 10 points that every fresher has to take into consideration when you are looking for a job to get a high paying job whether in a pharma company or whether in a biotech company so i believe that this video is helpful for all of you if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica thank you all of you for your time